My name is Henrik Drescher, and I'm a, uh, a visual artist focused mainly on children's books, editorial illustration, and now I'm doing lots of painting and book art. Like most artists, or most people really, I, uh, I have lots of stuff, visual material lying around. Uh, you know, things I draw on my table when I'm illustrating or when I'm painting, uh, stuff that I don't use paintings that I don't like, whatever. You know, so these are those things I keep in a pile. And I figured out a way to use them in these books as a, as a sort of a, a filing system of my visual material. And that's what this, uh, basically what this thing is, is a filing cabinet of your imagination. So in making these books, what happens is that there, there are little accidents that happen. First of all, in making them, we're, we're cropping the large sheets that we've pasted down all the material on. And when the books are put together, we don't see the final croppings until the books are made. And when that happens, there are all these new images that come up because of the croppings that we end up working with. And what, for me, with that is, is, an, is a uh, portal into a new direction. It's as if, it's as if somebody took all my work, chopped it up, put it together in a, in a blender and served it to me and say, look, do you see this? Do you see this Sears and Roebuck drawing next to that head you did? Do you see that? That could be, uh, that could be an idea for a whole uh, bunch of drawings. And that's how I, that's how I use it. Now I've always worked in notebooks. You know, I'll buy, I'll, I'll make, I usually make my own notebooks. I make a book and then I fill it up from you know page one to page 70 or whatever and I work on each page which is a really wonderful thing to do but it's not fun the way this is this uh, this system is uh, is sort of like a visual acrobatics <laughs> you know I'm, I'm always surprised I, it's not me personally and I feel like it's some it's a thing that happens kind of in spite of myself because we're always fighting uh, uh, we're fighting our own personal editors really that's what we're doing we're always uh, battling uh, for, like, uh, we're always fighting to have spontaneity in our work. But in so doing, we're we end up editing and it becomes, uh, it can very easily become contrived and stiff. And that's what these books, the seated notebooks, uh, attempt to move past. And I think in a certain way, this kind of project, you know, I'm, I'll teach you the method of it, but it's really, it's really quite simple, right? I'll show you what I do with it. But really what happens is that you teach yourself. By doing it, you'll show, you'll show yourselves what the thing is that is the thing about your work. My, my take on, on visual art is everything at once. That everything you do, the, the, more, uh, the more mature you get, the more you understand that you can do anything. That's, uh, that's my take on it. And this book is just an, a small example of that. It's like a, it's like a little uh, 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 concentrated pill of creativity. That's, that's what this is.